In this module, we are going to explore complex exponents. Now, in our school, we can uh, uh, we discussed how to calculate, for example, two raised to power two, and uh, how to calculate, for example, nine square root, and similarly, what is pi raised to power three, and other exponents of real numbers. And in this complex analysis discussion, we also uh, discussed what is e raised to power iota theta. So uh, now we are going to see, for example, what is going to be iota raised to power iota that we haven't discussed so far. And similarly, if we want to take, uh, for example, if we want to calculate pi raised to power iota, then how we can calculate that? Okay. Now uh, let's explore how we can uh, define these complex exponents. Okay. So uh, we can define what is two square, what is pi raised to power two by three, what is square root of eighty-seven etc etc okay now what happens if uh, uh, the power is going to be a complex number like iota raised to power iota like uh, square root of 1 plus iota uh, 2 raised to power 1 plus iota etc so how we are going to calculate this thing now the idea is uh, to use our knowledge about the exponential uh, the complex exponential function and uh, the complex logarithm function to define the complex exponents now how we are going to do that uh, let's see. Uh, we know that if we have a fixed uh, complex number, uh, then exponential and logarithm are inverses of each other. So that's why whenever we compose this thing, then it is always going to give me z. Okay, for this fixed complex number z. Now uh, we also know that uh, the according to the properties of uh, uh, the complex logarithm, uh, so log of z is to power n is equal to n log of z where n is any natural number. Okay. Now, uh, combining these two properties, we can easily say that uh, exponential of the logarithm of z raised to power n is going to be equal to, so using this property, exponential of n log of z. And of course, uh, since uh, these will cancel out each other, so we will get z raised to power n. Okay. So, z raised to power n is equal to, okay, so let me emphasize further, that z is to power n is equal to exponential of n principle, sorry, uh, the complex logarithm of z for any z not equal to 0, of course, because we are applying log on this z. Okay, so that's uh, one way to interpret this meaning of z is to power n. So we are going to use uh, this interpretation of z is to power n and we are going to define the complex exponent in the following way for any uh, non zero complex number uh, and any complex number c we define z raised to power c in the following way so exponential of c log of z and of course z is not equal to zero because we are applying log on the z okay so um, let's for example evaluate 4 raised to power 1 by 2 now in this case what do we need to calculate Okay, so 4 raised to power 1 by 2 is going to be equal to, according to this definition, is going to be equal to exponential. So, what is C in this case? So, in this case, C is going to be equal to 1 by 2. And uh, what is Z in this case? So, Z is going to be 4. So, we get 1 by 2 log of 4. Okay, so this is going to be equal to exponential 1 by 2. And what is log of 4? The log of 4 is nothing but natural log of 4 plus iota. Okay. And uh, uh, let me write down the principal argument of 4 plus 2n pi. Okay. So, uh, what is uh, the principal value of the argument, uh, argument of 4? Uh, 4 is on the positive side of the real axis. Okay. So, that's why the argument is going to be 0. So, what do we get in this case? Exponential of 1 by 2, natural log of 4 plus iota by 2. So the principal value of the argu argument is 0. So 2 and pi. Okay. And uh, in this case, so this is uh, the real case. So that's why uh, we can easily say that this is equal to log of square root of uh, 4. So in this case, we get the log of square root of 4 is 2 log of 2 and this 2 will cancel out this 2 iota and pi. So that's how uh, we define 
4 is to the power 1 by 2 according to this definition. Now, in this case, we can see that this is n involved. So, what happens if n is equal to 0? Okay, so 4 is to the power 1 by 2 is going to be equal to. Okay, so uh, let me not use the inequality. So, in this case, uh, this is so log of 2 and if n is 0 okay so this is going to be equal to 2 and what happens if n is equal to 1 so 4 is to the power 1 by 2 becomes okay so exp log of 2 plus out of pi now in this case uh, yeah, this is equal to e raised to the power log of 2 which is of course uh, becomes 2 and uh, uh, cosine pi plus out a sine pi and we know that cosine uh, pi is minus 1 so we get what do we get 2 into minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 so um, we can say that 4 raised to the power 1 by 2 is going to be equal to 2 and minus 2 okay so uh, these are uh, the two answers uh, for uh, 4 raised to the power 1 by 2 according to this definition Okay, so now we have calculated that 4 raised to the power 1 by 2 is basically 2 and minus 2. Uh, but in uh, the real case, we denote square root of 4 as 2. It is a positive value of this uh, uh, set. Okay, so that's why uh, in odd notation, square root of 4 is not the same as 4 raised to the power 1 by 2. And 4 raised to the power 1 by 2 is basically all the uh, square roots of 4. And uh, this uh, square root of 4 is only the positive value. So, that is uh, the difference between the two notations. Okay. Now, uh, since uh, in our definition of the complex exponent, uh, log is involved and we know that log is a multivalued function. So, in general, we can say that uh, this uh, z raised to power c is a multivalued function. Uh, so, we can define the principal branch of the, this multivalued function uh, by taking the principal value of the logarithm. Okay. So, that is how we define uh, the principal branch of this multivalued function sometimes it is denoted as p dot v z to the power c which is basically the principal value of this complex exponent okay now uh, let's calculate the principal value of iota raised to power iota now according to our definition we know that iota raised to power iota is going to be equal to exponential of iota the principal logarithm of iota okay and which is going to be equal to exponential iota now by definition of the uh, principal uh, logarithm so this is going to be equal to uh, natural log of 1 okay because uh, uh, the modulus of iota is 1 plus iota the principal argument of iota and uh, we know that uh, the principal argument of iota is pi by 2 okay so this is going to be equal to exponential of iota log of 1 is 0 and iota into iota pi by 2 so this is going to be equal to exponential of minus pi by 2 so which is uh, if we calculate this thing it is going to be equal to 0 0.20788 so that's how we calculate iota raised to power iota and similarly we can calculate other examples so in this module we define how we calculate complex exponents and uh, we solve some very simple examples of course on the same lines we can solve other examples this was the first part of our discussion in next part we will explore further about the properties of complex exponents